Hey guys, Alex here from This Cobb House, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about installing electrical and plumbing into your house, whether this is a cob house, a rammed earth house, a straw bale house, potentially even, and uh, maybe even a conventional stick frame building. A lot of these concepts will apply, but let's focus on cob here first. So this first diagram here, I'm just showing a very basic detail of ways to get your water and your electrical into your building. So this white pipe right here, this is a water inlet pipe and you can do underneath the foundation, which is nice and clean. Um, yes, if you have any problems with this pipe in the future, you're going to have to tear into your floor and foundation and all that. Um, this is how pipes are put into foundations these days. Um, you know, maybe it's not ideal in all ways, but um, it works generally. Um, so this is a good way to do it. So you can put your water pipes through the stem wall underground. Make sure you install them beneath the frost line if you can. So let's say the frost line is about right here. That would mean our water is coming in underneath the frost line so it's not going to freeze and burst the pipe. Um, you might need to put it even lower. In this case it would be going through the footer. So just be aware of that. Pre-plan all these things before you begin construction. You're going to have to put these pipes as you create the foundation obviously so your um, piping needs to be planned basically from the very beginning so the pipe basically can go through and up into the building wherever you want it now right here we have an electrical pipe so you can put your wires for, uh, for example from your um, electrical pole could come and go through here and up into the building. Now you can put these underground as well if you want, but this is just to demonstrate you can put it through the stem wall as well. Doesn't need to be uh, beneath the frost line or anything like that because it's just electrical wires. So let's see what else we got here. Okay. Let's, let me go to this one actually. All right, so this is a good strategy if you're doing a cob building or an earth wall building. A lot of the time people want to have all their pipes and, and all that hidden and not going, you know, all through the building you know coming up in the middle of the building so you can have it just kind of come out right here at the wall and then branch out through these uh, interior walls which are made of conventional stick framing and in this example I have drywall on here it doesn't have to be drywall it could be something more natural but um, yeah, it's a, it's a good strategy. Like, let's say we have a small house and we have the bathroom here and the kitchen over here. And so we want to have water, obviously, to both of those rooms. So we can have a simple water inlet. The water can come up right here and then branch out right to the bathroom and the kitchen. And same with power if you want to do it that way too and so the real benefit of this is that you get water access to these rooms that need it but you don't have to put this water pipe inside of a an earth wall so that's kind of a general rule of thumb is never put water pipes inside an earth wall cob rammed earth whatever it might be because if you do have any problems with those pipes 
or any leaks, it's going to be potentially catastrophic. Um, they can saturate the walls. You probably won't even know until it's too late. So don't put water pipes inside earth walls. Always try to keep them outside or keep them inside a um, stick frame wall like this. That way, if you do have a, let's say there's a leak here, um, we need to get access to that. It's far, far more easy to just take off the, um, the covering of the stick frame wall and get in there. We could even make a little door box, little doorway here, so you can open that and have access to that very easily. Um, so that's a good strategy just to be aware of if you want to do an earth building. Um, so yeah, general rule, water pipes should not be inside earth walls. Electrical can be inside earth walls, no problem. And to install elect electrical inside an earth wall, you're either going to, well, you can either do exterior conduit. So the conduit's running along the outside. Some people like that. It looks, you know, very modern industrial. Looks especially good with rammed earth if you want to go for that look. But if you want to install wiring inside the wall, it's probably best to carve out channels like a inch or two deep where you're going to put the wires place the wires and then just plaster over that when you're all done installing your wiring and uh, yeah you'll never even know it's there so that's kind of the basics of electrical and plumbing installation if you have questions more specifically Leave them in the comment section below. Um, give this video a like if you liked it. If you don't like it, give it a down like. I don't care. Um, I want to know your thoughts. And um, leave a comment below. And um, yeah, I'm going to be making a couple more of these um, 3D rendering videos. And I hope you guys got some value out of it. And I'll talk to you in the next video.